use a black brush stroke or black lines to create unusual artistry effects in Photoshop 221 or 220, 219, something like this. What I've done, I've just created a very simple sort of design that's radial design going outwards with some black lines. I'm going to show you how to create something like this and obviously some variations. So this one's just a very simple design here and I'm just going to quickly go back. So you can see what I've done. I've just added some lines. So first thing to do, obviously complete fresh document. Then go to the brush tool. Now I'm going to use a brush tool. It doesn't matter particularly using the brush. You could use any type of brush. You could use a very basic brush. But I'm just going to use the same brush that I'm going to be using in the art history as well. So I've got the sample brush there, and that's which is basic star. So I just quickly make it a bit so let's just make the size so you can see it. There it is up there, just a star design. Now I've got other videos where I've actually created the star design. It's a very basic star, just a star, and I've just defined it as a brush. You can go and look at those few earlier videos showing how to do that. And I will put the link in my uh, description. I say very straightforward creating defining a brush. So I'm just going to reduce the size there and I'm just going to now apply it. Now I'm going to apply it with symmetry to create size because I want radial lines going out. So I'm just going to go up here. There's an option here. I've got that 12, got black, and that's the key thing. Black. Black is the key colour here. Now this image doesn't have too much black. It's actually got it's sort of black down there. Obviously, if it had a lot of black in the, the image, obviously the more it has. It's going to be probably less influence, but if you've got nice sort of like that, no issue. So what you can do, just go up here and go to radial, and then set the second count. I'm going to put it right to the max. So click OK, and you can see you get this design there. Press the turn, and now we need. I've got them using an art pad, art pen, and pad, but you can use, of course, a mouse. Simply just, and you can create all kinds of different designs. You don't have to. Now just draw lines out like that. Now you could, of course, if you wanted to, I undo that, I, you could create a zigzag design. So I mean, I could actually create a slightly more unusual design. Obviously, the example I showed earlier was actually just straight lines. But let's just go with some zigzag, just as a variation. But you can see the sort of similar sort of thing that will happen at the end. So you've got this design, and you can vary the size as well. Maybe apply some else, so you don't have to could just put it there as well. So you've got that zigzag design. Now what you can do, I'm just going to remove that. I don't want that anymore. So symmetry off. So symmetry is off and you've got this. Now you think, oh, that's ruining the image. It's not going to. What you can now do is you can go to the brush tool. Just click there. And this is in the history panel, window and history. So window and history, you've got your you can set a history state, and now that's what the art history uses as a source. Just along that, that edge there, just click there, and you can see a little sort of brush there. So go to the art history. Now your art history brush might be in a different position, because well, you might not have it. If you can't, you can always find them using this down here. You can actually edit the toolbar, and you can see and access your art history brush that way. So select an art, art history. Now I'm using this star design. Again, you can see the size there. I'm going with seven. Now you can vary the no, I'm just go seven pixels. Brush settings. If you want to change things, you've got color dynamics, you can change that. So color dynamics, you can set maybe hue jitter, saturation jitter. So you can vary it. You don't have to. Just keep them just all the way to zero. Have you reasonable as well? But it just adds a bit of variation in the color. And also you can apply per per tip as well if you want to do that. But I'm just going to put it back to the all zero. But that's a possibility by just changing those. You can get more very colourful images that way. Now I've got the design here, got the history state there selected. And what I can now do, I can go to apply, just go over here to the art history tool. But before I do that, I don't want to apply it to this. Well, I could do, perfectly reasonable, nothing, no problem applying to this. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply it to a black. So, or maybe white, doesn't matter. Or any solid colour, or a gradient. Again, doesn't matter at all. So edit, and then go down to fill. And 
going to set it to black. So you've got nothing there now. So what you can then do is you can create obviously your design and simply apply like that. Just go over the document. And this is the reason why I've gone for that star design. So if you use a different brush, sometimes it doesn't seem to work. I found that star design seems to create this nice sort of effect. Other brushes just don't seem to do it for some weird reason. I've, I've used other things and then you just don't get that design. And now if I apply this, and I can obviously resize it a bit. I don't have to use that size, maybe make it. So you can fill it obviously. So go for 33, or something like that. And you just fill in quickly. And you see the design there. Now it's a bit harder to see those radial designs going out. I'm just going to reduce that down again to seven. And you, again, just do that. And now you can see this line coming out from that central point there. And that's the black line. That black, those black lines influence this design. You can see that going out there, all the way out. You got, and it also, of course, follows the color of the of the image as well, which makes it really quite effective. So when you can done that, what you can do, you can go to edit and fill, and you can then apply again your history state. But this time, I want a different history state. I'm going to go back to the snapshot. Now, don't click on the snapshot. What you want to do is just click on the history state down this edge. Otherwise, it will just go back to, if I just click on there, it will just go back to that. I don't want that. So I want that. But I want the history state to be the image, the original image. Then I go to edit and fill. And instead of black, I can use history. Click OK. And of course, you get the original image back, which you obviously you're thinking, well, I've lost all my work. Well, you haven't, because you can do edit and fade fill. Now, you could, of course, do it previously with the uh, go through it in the actual fill itself. But this is just another way of doing it. Fade fill, darken, dissolve, multiply, color burn, linear burn, lighten, screen. And you can see again, you've got that, those lines streaking out there, and that's all modified the, the actual end result. Now, the one I had at the start was this one. So you can see that zigzag design there applied across there, and that's using difference. Click OK. And now, of course, once you've got that, what you can do, you can then go auto tone and all those sorts of things, modify it, maybe go to adjustments and vibrance, and maybe boost that up so you can make a very super colorful design like that. Now, I'm going to go through it again, but just going to show you a different sort of design using black. So back to this point, this is right to the start. Now what I do again, just quickly go down to the brush tool and I've just got to quickly see what oh, there is. Depends on, it might be in a different position for you. It might be, again, you can edit the toolbar, so I can't say where it's going to be exactly. So brush tool. And now, again, I could use the radial. So I could use radial there, but I can just add it just without using the radial. We don't have to. I just wanted to show the symmetry, but you could add black lines across this. And I'm just going to maybe make it slightly thicker as well. Maybe. Now, it doesn't damage the, the image particularly because, of course, once you apply the history state, then you can see that the result is different. So it's not a... But I'm, let's go for a sort of maybe lines like that. And you can vary it, of course. What you can do, you can turn around and say, well, you know what, I want so slightly, maybe 330 there. A bit thicker line there. And you can vary it, maybe make it curved or something, I don't know, or maybe a squiggle or something. All those variations, I mean, you don't have to keep it. Maybe have a gap between them, so like a little gap there. And you can see, you can just apply that across there. And then you can always, of course, go back over here and maybe reduce it down again. And again, this is using the star brush, but it doesn't have to be the star brush in this point. This could be any of the brushes. So it could be all kinds of different brush strokes. And you can apply it very thin one, or maybe reduce it, make it even smaller. So nine point across there. And then of course, what you can also do, you can also just maybe, maybe a spiral. 
we maybe make a spider's web design. You know, you could just do a, like a sort of spider's web. The Amazing Spider-Man, something like that. And maybe add some additional shapes in, in between, just sort of circles or letters. Maybe A, F, D, E. Break that up and so on and so on. You can see you can create all kinds of different images like this. And then once you've done that, then you can again do exactly the same as before. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that history state. So select that. So you've done all that work. Now go to the history panel again. Select that there on that history state line. And now you can fill it. So edit and fill. And I'm going to go with black. But you don't have to use black. You could use any of the others. You could use a pattern. So you decide, let's use a pattern. If you're just as reasonable as well. I've got some patterns here. There's a pattern design there. Use it on top of that. Perfectly reasonable. Or use white. Or use brush strokes. There's a whole heap of different designs you can use to fill. So once you've got that, you've still got that history state applied there. And now what you can do, you can, of course, apply your history brush. And you can see now. And of course, if you decide, you know what, I don't like that. You can always go to edit and fill instead of use the pattern that I'm just using. Let me just go back to black. Black is reasonable. And you can see as you apply it, you can see you've got this, these lines going across. This is the break where any place where there was the black, you end up with this sort of nice line. And you can see it modifies how. So you can create some very unique sort of fragmented broken images, whatever you want to call them. And of course, maybe you could apply it if you want it, say, like around the edge. You know, maybe you've got like blue around the side. You only want this effect, say, just in the blue area. You don't have to. You could leave the rest of the, like the face or whatever untouched. Don't put any black there. Reduce the blacks down to very, very low. And then just apply this over here to the blue. Or do the opposite. Maybe just apply it to the face and leave all the rest untouched. Or combine with effects. So I've just you can see what you can create a whole load of different. You can see that spider web design across this image. So got that. And what you can then do, of course, you can then go to edit and again apply the design again. But you can just go up to here. And you don't have to use this. You could create maybe multiple states. So you can create maybe a blurred design, history state, and serve that, save that as a snapshot. Just go up there and save it as a snapshot. You could save this as a snapshot and then use that as a source and to keep developing on top. That's just as reasonable as well. So now what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna use this. So select there, go to edit and fill. And again, go to history. Click OK. And again, you've got back to the original design. Now, edit and fade fill. And then darken. Multiply. And you can run through them. You can think, you know what? I like that one or I like this one. Screen. Overlay. Soft light. Linear. And so on. You can see you can create some very, very unusual design, simple like that. It's very nice. Linear light, perfectly reasonable. And of course, what you can do, you can still continue to manipulate that. So image adjustments, maybe vibrance, really push up the, the emphasis on that red there. So you can see that sort of design there. Now, of course, what you can do, you can, can still continue, if you want to, apply brush strokes. I'm, obviously, I'm just showing more and more examples, but obviously the Previous state was probably what I want to do it in the first place, but just want to show you can continue to work with this. So what you can do, go to color dynamics, change the hue jitter, saturation jitter, brightness, and then continue to apply. Now, in this case, of course, I'm, I've lost the original there, so it's up here. 
So this is where the brush tool. So it's probably going to be best when you're at the brush tool if you want to use that work, that brush, all those different lines. It's best to save it as a snapshot. So this brush tool up here. So I'm just going to quickly click up there. You can see your design there. I would suggest at that point just go and add it as a snapshot. So a new snapshot. Okay. Now I'll just go back to there. So I've got that as a snapshot, so I can always quickly click on that to go back as a source. So there's the source. Again, that's with all those black lines. Now, of course, you don't have to use that. You could go and create another black line design, <laughs> perfectly reasonable as well. So now with that as the source again, what you can do, just go over here to Art History and apply on top of there. You can see you can add again more to the image and you don't have to, with the brush and this is the thing about the brushes is that you don't have to apply it to all of the image you just apply it to a local area so just if you decide you know what i want to keep this all untouched just don't go there just apply the brush just to the area the central bit over here and you can see now because we've got the saturation the various variations set to saturation and hue, you can see a lot more colour is introduced into this. And again, what you can do once you finish that, you can then go back again, edit and fill. And obviously, before you do that, okay, go up to here, set the history state to the original. Edit and fill. And use history. Click OK, you brought the original image back. And again, edit and fade fill. And you can run through with darken, multiply, or difference. And you can create some very abstract designs just by doing that. So difference there, click OK. Now, what you've got with this end result, this, and again, you can continue with this. So what you can do, you can go to say, oh, you know what, I'm going to do a filter or something. So filter, or maybe apply black lines to this. So I'm just going to go back to the paintbrush tool. There's brush tool there and apply some black lines to this. Oh, before I do that, probably going to be best just create a snapshot because sometimes you might say, you know what, I didn't like that. But I always like to create snapshots. So right side of the history panel, new snapshot. So you save it so you don't lose it. Or you could, of course, go and go to file and save so you can save the document because, you know, it's quite a nice result. But I want to just work on this a bit more. So I'm just going to create some more lines and you can create different lines. Sort of squiggles like that, maybe go to the symmetry and maybe go to, let's change the size again. And more lines there, just a whole load of different lines, just to show that you can create, continue to create more and more different unusual designs using this. But what you can also do, of course, is you can use filters at this point. So filters maybe go to blur and Gaussian blur. Not that much, maybe, but say just like that. Click OK. So you've got a slightly blurred design instead of just having it sort of very, very and also what you can do, of course, you might want to go up to um, levels. So image menu, adjustments and levels. And then maybe brighten that up. Go for a very, very bright. Obviously, the black will still be black there. Click OK and then go to the line. And again, you still can see the underlying image, obviously the face. You can add again more black lines. So maybe some dots, fragments to design, and just doing that over there. And again, like I say, you don't have to use what brush I'm using this. Obviously, countless brushes that you could use to apply these brush strokes. Now, once you've done that, what you can then do, of course, is go down there and remember to click the history state again. Just click there, and that's what's going to be used as your history state. Again, you can go to edit and fill and then black, click OK, or, or white, I say, whatever, color. and then go to the art history. You've got the state selected there, and now it will 
you can apply it and you can see it's applied just like that and you, you can see the effect of those black lines and you can go all this lovely spider web design you've still got the underlying image to work with as well so it's not you know completely now I've actually got the well, I'm just going to go brush settings you can go to color dynamics I'm going to turn that off don't want that so with the color dynamics off it just goes back to the colors that were on the design perfect reasonable as well just move that now also what you can do you can go to layers don't have to keep it on the same layer so maybe you decide you know what I'm going to do it on a layer so layer and new layer click OK and now any brush stroke and it's using that history source still and again you can vary the uh, size so maybe apply that side maybe make it very big that side and maybe make it small this side and this is all on a new layer as it's on a new layer what you can do you can manipulate the layer maybe move it move it around and see move to design there or oh, see that's moving the other one you can resize it do all kinds of things I don't want that but I'm just saying you could do that stop I don't want to do that but what you can also do you can go to layer menu and layer style maybe bevel and boss and all those strokes that you've created just then using that art history brush all now will have that and obviously you could add a drop shadow or something but I think the just going for bevel and boss set the size accordingly obviously you don't want it maybe too high mate up to you just vary the size so you get to get some depth to your brush stroke click OK and you've got the design there and then of course again what you can do you can now I'm just going to go layer and flatten the image so it's all flattened now it doesn't particularly look much like anything at this point but you can still see that structure that I've added that spider web structure then of course you can go to again make sure you select the right source go to the history and go up to again back to the original the Roxy 24 one there or whatever file you've got so click the history state for the snapshot and then edit and fill Oops. go to history and the reason why I use fade is because if you change the setting here you don't see the end result until you click OK so it's a bit more sort of tricky to work with so I like to keep it normal click OK and then go to edit and fade fill darken multiply lighten You can see all kinds of different designs there. Great screen, overlay, difference, and so on. So you can see you can create all kinds of tangled designs. I think overlay looks nice. So click OK. And that's it. So that's a run through of using these sort of black lines that you can just add anywhere. You can use all kinds of black lines. I mean, you don't have to use, you could use shapes, solid shapes, perfectly reasonable as well. Maybe use text. You could use loads of different things to create these black designs in here, which can then be used to create this sort of, modify the way that the art history brush works. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Fancy Photo from Designer, from Publisher, Rebel, all those sort of applications. Also, if you've got some comments, please let me know. What things did I do wrong? Which things did I do right? What things would you like maybe to explain a little bit more? Please let me know in the comments. Always try and maybe do another video and go through it maybe in a little bit more detail. Also, a dislike or like. Always appreciated. Thank you much.